gardeners with limited physical abilities sometimes need a little bit of extra help when it comes to doing some of our regular gardening chores. Well, right here we've got some specially ergonomically designed tools from Radius Garden Tools that should make some of those gardening tasks a little bit easier. Right here we've got a traditional hand trowel and you can see that the handle and the blade are pretty much in the, the same straight line there and the handle is pretty small, it's pretty small around it takes a little bit of more energy to grip that and when you work with it there's a lot of wrist twisting action going on there. It can really be rough if you have arthritis or, or maybe carpal tunnel syndrome. Well with these new tools you can see the handle design has this, this unique curve and when you grip it and when you work, when you dig in the garden, you can see that the point of, of impact in the soil or the, where all the action is there is sort of in a straight line with the bones in your forearm. So there's not as much wrist twisting. Just work that in the soil and then just flip that soil over. But this is a regular garden trowel. Right over here we have a bulb trowel. And you can even see it's got some little, little bumps here. Uh, indicating one inch, three inches, five inches, so you can see how deep you're getting those bulbs in the ground. But again, that same curved handle. This is a little cultivator that uh, also has the same curved handle design. And another neat thing about these tools is that the metal is a special alloy. It's uh, one made of aluminum and magnesium, and it's very, very light and still as strong as some of our, our traditional uh, gardening gardening tools. We've got a weeder right over here, kind of get in under those, those, those tap-rooted weeds like dandelions and help pop those out, again, without much twisting of the wrist. The handle, you can see, is sort of this bright green, so it's, it's not going to get lost out in the garden. Easy to spot this, whether it's uh, lying somewhere amongst some of the plants. And this handle is a, a non-latex handle that is resistant to weather and a lot of garden chemicals and should last for a very long time. It's also got sort of a surface that uh, helps you grip it really well and whether it's dry or wet and it won't slip. And just because it's a lot bigger around, it doesn't take as much energy to grip it. You don't have to squeeze as hard with the uh, larger handle than you do with the, uh, the smaller handle. So that uh, makes it a little bit lighter on the wrist as well. Well, right here is a, a shovel or a spade, and it's got a stainless steel head and shank. And one of the neat things is this grip up here at the top. You can see it's rounded, so it's easy to hold on to. In fact, you get about four times the area to grip, so it's uh, real easy to work with in the garden. And down here on the, uh, the step of the shovel, it's a lot wider than what we get with a, a normal shovel, so again, it just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, not so hard to keep your balance when you're uh, pushing that into the soil. And another neat thing about these tools is that they are guaranteed for life. So if you're interested in the uh, Radius Garden tools, you can check out their website at RadiusGarden.com. Raking leaves and using some of the other long-handled gardening tools can be a little bit hard on the back and arms and shoulders, but uh, that work can be made a little bit easier with an attachment like this. This is called the Back Saver, and you can check it out at BackSaverGrip.com, but uh, you can see here that you just uh, loosen the, the nuts on these bolts, and this just kind of opens up a little bit, and you can put that on a number of different long-handled garden tools but it's almost like a, a weed eater. You know, you have that, that extra grip down here and you can grip it in the back and it works really well to save your back. Well, I know that when I'm out gardening a lot, I'm always down on all fours, pulling weeds or planting something or, or digging in the soil and my knees can really start to hurt if I'm just doing that on a hard surface or even on the ground. So one thing that makes that chore a little bit easier is just some, some knee pads. You can get the knee pads that strap on, but uh, just these little knee kneeling pads work well. You've got room for, for two knees there, and you just, as you work along, just kind of grab the handle and, and move out of the way. But uh, I do use these, and they, they help quite a bit to uh, take some of the pain 
out of your knees. So those are a good idea to make your gardening work a little bit easier. Now if you're doing a lot of work where, where you're standing in one place for a long time, maybe you're in a, a gardening shed or something like that, potting up stuff, and you're standing on a hard surface, well, I recommend an anti-fatigue mat. And that's what we've got right here. It's a very thick, sort of soft rubber that gives a little bit. It's got all these, these holes in place here. But uh, I highly recommend these. I think they are great. If you're gonna be standing in one place for a long time, just kind of shifts your weight a little bit and uh, kind of releases uh, some of the, those pressure points. It just doesn't uh, uh, have that, that hard pressure from the, the hard surface when you're standing in one place for a long time. But uh, anti-fatigue mat, I think a really good idea if you're gonna be standing in one place for a long time doing any kind of work, whether it's gardening work or, uh, or anything else. Now, we uh, talked about the bright handles of some of those tools earlier on, and you can create your own bright colored tools. Just take something like a, just a, a, a bright pink or a bright chartreuse spray paint, and uh, you can paint the handles of your tools and find those a lot easier in the garden. This is something I think is, is pretty cool. It's called a, a rubber coating or, or plasti dip material, and you can spray that on the handles of some of your tools. We've got it right here, sprayed on the, uh, the handle of these prop pliers, and it just makes it a lot easier to grip and uh, just kind of sets up, and uh, really nice coating material makes the handles a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to grab, and kind of protects them as well. Well, whenever you are gardening, make sure you do some stretches, consult with your physician, and always bend with your legs and not your back. So always bend your knees whenever you're picking something up, and take it easy in the garden. Don't overexert yourself, and most of all, have fun.